I should be gigging in New Zealand now, but I'm not. I'm stuck at Narita instead. I should be singing in Dunedin, smoking kiwi pot and chilling with the kiwi reds. But when I showed up at the airport to board my flight, I was handed somebody's cell phone. Suddenly the future didn't look so bright, and I entered the twilight zone. The woman on the line said, hello, I'm from immigration. You may have a ticket, but you can't go to our great island nation. I felt like I'd been hit in the face with a big old kiwi log. But then I felt the Stassi's cold embrace when she said, I've been reading your blog. The spies are reading my blog, the introduction and the prologue. And if that's so, it just might be true that they're watching this video too. Well, I normally don't get many views, a few hundred friends and kooks. So it comes as surprising news that some of them are Kiwi spooks. I try to get my missives out and cause some small commotion. Someone's listening now, there's no doubt, across the South Pacific Ocean. The spies are reading my blog, the introduction and the prologue. And if that's so, it just might be true that they're watching this video too. Were you strip searched in Trondheim? She asked. What kind of things do you smoke? Have you ever been charged with a crime? Are you rich or are you broke? Have you ever been turned away from any borders you tried to cross? What kind of venues did you plan to play? Do you use dental floss? I said, it seems a bit unusual for you to do things quite this way. I asked her, is this normal? But she wouldn't say. She just repeated her message. At Narita, you shall remain. I've read your blog, each vile passage, and you may not board that plane. The spies are reading my blog, the introduction and the prologue. And if that's so, it just might be true that they're watching this video too. They're watching this video too. Watching this video too.